He cons him by inviting him to his movies. He cons him with the commercials. Uh, he pretends to enjoy guys uh, and, and like them and befriend them. It became known as the con game as MJ went for 51 and had a few choice words for Jeff Van Gundy after a few of his 18 hoops. I think he said, um, calm down you little hockey puck or something like that. I'm not sure. It was something to that effect. But that game also featured an altercation between Jordan and Chris Childs. Not the first time the Knicks mixed it up with MJ. And the foul. That's trouble. That's trouble. Anthony and Jordan. Anthony did not like the fact about, about how Jordan felt. Anthony greeted him with a two-arm. And Jordan has lost it all. Boy, you really, it takes a lot to get him to act like that. But he is crazed. But perhaps no Nick had more heated battles with Jordan over the years than John Starks. Like Reggie Miller, Jordan seemed to bring out the best and the worst in the Knicks guard. But despite the scuffles, Jordan was never perceived as big a villain as Reggie Miller. In fact, at the 1998 NBA All-Star Game at the Garden, MJ received several standing ovations as he outdueled a 19-year-old Kobe Bryant en route to MVP honors. A month later, the greatest hockey player in the world came out to watch the greatest basketball player. Jordan, sensing that this may be his last game at the Garden, wore his original Air Jordans, then proceeded to put on a show. 42 points later, Michael Jordan walked off to a standing ovation from the Madison Square Garden faithful. In the summer of 1998, Jordan stepped away from the game, averaging over 30 points per game, the highest scoring average of all time. 